Hello everyone, welcome back to another Teardown. Today we have here the JBL Flip 6 that was just released in the US in December 2021. Before we get this teardown going, if you're new to the channel and enjoy this type of teardown, please consider subscribing as there will be many more teardown like this. Now with that being said, let's tear down the JBL Flip 6. Right out of the box, we have here the JBL Flip 6. As you can see, the Flip 6 received a few cosmetic changes such as the new passive radiators and a new logo design. Toward the back, it has also been redesigned but still maintained the same button, battery indicator and USB-C ports that was on the Flip 5. Either way, these new designs are conspicuous and really make the speaker stand out as a whole. Along with the Flip 6, you also received the usual documentation and USB-C charging cables. First thing into the teardown, we will gently pry it open the fabric cover like we normally do on the JBL Flip 4 and 5. I really like the newly redesigned JBL logo. In addition to how good the speakers sound already, I think having this huge logo really make the speakers scream out that it's a JBL product. With a quick glance of the speaker, there's a huge difference that you see that the previous JBL Flip lineup did not have, and that is the additional tweeter that has been added. This tweeter helps bring a new dynamic to the sound that the predecessor did not. Next step, we will remove the dual passive radiator by prying loose these four tabs. As you can see, the passive radiator has been redesigned. Instead of being rubberized and flat like the Flip 5, this one is plain aluminum with the exclamation mark symbol that is slightly lifted up. Besides the differences, the radiator is still optimized to provide the fine-tuned deep bass that JBL speaker normally has. Next, we will remove the woofer by removing four of these screws. And these three connectors. This woofer measure 45 by 80 mm, which is closely identical to the one from the Flip 5. This woofer pushes a total of 20 watts to deliver all the low and mid range frequencies. Now let's go ahead and remove the tweeter. This is a 16mm tweeter that pushes 10 watts of power to produce crisp and clear high frequency. With the addition of this tweeter, the Flip 6 now delivers sound from all three categories, the bass, the mid, and the highs. Now let's remove this yellow plastic cover in order to remove the motherboard and the battery pack. Before pushing out the motherboard, we will need to disconnect all of the cables. There's two ribbon cables for the control and there is a wire cable for the antenna. Once the motherboard is slightly pushed out, you can remove the battery connector, so it will make it easier to slide out the rest of the motherboard. And 
here we have the JBL Flip 6 motherboard. This motherboard allows you to use the JBL Portable app to access an equalizer and to connect multiple speakers via party boost. It has Bluetooth version 5.1 with a range of up to 40 meter. Unfortunately, it has no built-in microphone as the Flip 4 was the last speaker to have built-in microphone from the Flip lineup. Now to remove the battery pack, I will gently use this flat tool to help release the battery pack so it will be easier to pull it out. This is a 4800 mAh battery pack that has a charge time of about 2.5 hours and provided the speaker with a total run time of up to 12 hours. To remove this cover for the power Bluetooth and charging port, we will just need to pry up these four clips. Once the cover is removed, we can access the charging board by removing two screws that are holding down this clear plastic cover. And here we have the charging board, which is USB-C and charges the battery within 2.5 hours at 5 volt and 3 amp. We also have these waterproof silicone cover for the buttons, but I'll be leaving these alone to prevent damage to the speaker and its IP rating. Last but not least, we have here the adjustable strap that is wrapped around this little aluminum piece. And here we have it guys, the teardown of the JBL Flip 6. If you find this helpful, remember don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not. I will really appreciate it as it will help support the channel and enable me to make more content like this. Well that's it, I'll catch you on the next teardown.